Hey, welcome to this Q&A video in which I would like to uh, answer a question from a user, of course, and uh, just go over a few techniques I used to hold on uh, to a miniature while uh, while painting it. Um, so first of all, thank you to Van Hammer, uh, which who asked uh, me the following question. I like the figure painting stand thingy you have the main body attached to. This is a question asked uh, on my uh, December 2011 uh, desktop update video. Um, so he wants to know this, this uh, stand, is something I made it myself or uh, is something I, I found somewhere. So uh, I'll, I'll uh, to take off the camera from the, from the tripod and we'll go over to the painting disc and have a closer look to uh, the techniques I used to uh, hold on to a miniature one. So uh, the thing is uh, Van Hammer is referring to is probably uh, this setup. Um, Nothing really special. Uh, this thing uh, is, is it's a it's a cheap pin vise holder. So just put in a you put in a drill in here. Normally, you can use it to yeah, to, to to put a pin vise in there. That's basically all. So what I usually do when uh, painting a figure is I paint the base separately and then mount the figure on a on a pin. So I have the freedom to. Uh, to move it all around and also the freedom to to go uh, a bit more from the from the bottom with, with my brush um, I think it's a quite a quite a good uh, way to to hold your figure um, but of course not not all uh, figures are uh, are suitable to to put a pin in one of the feet for example this one and also if you're really painting rank and file miniature it's not really a technique I'd like to suggest but for showcase figures this is uh, really the way uh, I like it, um, and then this this disc uh, where I put it in. Um, this is basically the the foot of a, a security camera, an IP camera. Uh, we have a bunch of these um, at the office uh, where I work. Uh, a lot of these cameras have broken down, so we have a, a box filled with uh, spare parts like this uh, this foot. Um, yeah, normally just some some kind of tube uh, goes on here, and then uh, some joint to attach uh, the camera. Um, but I removed this. I used a hobby knife to scrape out some of the inside, so that this uh, pin vise fits in, and that's quite easy to uh, to put down the figure. Um, if you don't have this, have this. I, the other thing I'll also do is just carefully put this down on a, on a piece of blister foam or something. Just be careful that you don't put it down too hard on a, on a on a table or that you rub over a, over a table with a painted figure so that's my my first setup I use second technique I use is um, when I paint a couple of figures which don't have the uh, which aren't that easy to pin in one of the feet like these Rakam figures which are very fine uh, uh, figures you maybe have a uh, Heard a story about uh, the weak ankles of the Rackham figures, so they they were a bit notorious about the ankles snapping off, figures snapping off at the at the ankles. So these are figures that you have to re really be careful with if you want to pin them on uh, on a base or something. So I usually leave them on the on the tap and put them already on on the base. I know this limits me a bit of uh, with the, with the brush movement, but I think that's still a, a better option. To have here, um, so what I did is made, made I made a couple of these handles with old um, GW paint pots, little paint pots, glued them together with super glue, and then put this duct tape around. Um, now something I, if I ever w going to make some more, um, I'll suggest you put some extra weight in the in the bottom uh, the bottom pot um, because this this isn't always as stable, or you mount some kind of foot uh, on it. Um, but yeah, or one paint pot is also possible. But this is very comfortable to have it like this, very stable. So that's the and second the option. Third option. Um, this is something I've left over from uh, from the time I used to paint uh, entire armies. Um, I have these caps from uh, from water bottles, etc. And I also yeah I forgot to say um, how I attach this uh, this figure to the base. I just use some of these. Uh, I would call it poster, poster buddy or poster putty. 
so the, the, the sticky stuff you can buy uh, in a supermarket, which is basically meant to whips to attach posters to the to the wall. You can reuse this stuff. Uh, it's safe to uh, to stick uh, figures on with it. Um, so yeah, just put on a, a small ball of this stuff on a, on the top of that handle, and then put on uh, the figure. And yeah, basically the same with the caps. Um, well, this is cheap and easy to get, so uh, if you have to mount 20 of the guys on uh, on these handles, yeah, then you have to use 40 uh, old Citadel paint bottles. Um, so yeah, uh, I think this this is quite good for uh, painting rank and file miniatures. Um, just as long as you avoid grabbing onto the miniature itself, or yeah, I know I'm a bit paranoid about. Uh, this subject but I really like to avoid touching the miniature in any way so uh, any of these three options um, they're fine with me okay I hope this Van Hammer this, this answered your question uh, if you have some other questions everyone please keep them coming see you in the next Q&A video take care everyone bye